welcome to our channel. This is a video log as well as a review of authentic campground of Riding Mountain National Park in Manitoba, Canada. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular tech review videos, smartwatch reviews, designing tutorials, video log like this one and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find curated playlist of various videos we post on this channel. So here we are at the Riding Mountain National Park, Manitoba, Canada. I would definitely recommend this campground. There are a lot of amenities and perfect camping experience. So here I am at the authentic 713. This came with a nice bench, which was fairly handy for meals, uh, outdoor meals. Came with a fire pit, just so you guys know, you can't bring your own firewood. You have to purchase it on site, which was pretty darn expensive. Eight dollar for about nine logs this is the propane barbecue came with a burner on the left hand side which we really liked a lot for boiling water and making tea this is the barbecue itself it had four burners i believe so came with prongs At the bottom there is this propane tank in case if you ran out of propane you can they can provide you at no cost on the right hand side of the tent our tent at the back you can see the winter shed it was also handy just in case if there were to be rain or anything you can have meal inside this is the ramp good for wheelchair accessibility uh, the overall build quality of the tent is strong and sturdy there's this chimney the gate or the door is also strong it's a passcode enabled door so the check-in process is pretty seamless they provide you the code you enter the code and there you go you're in the uh, authentic as soon as you enter the authentic on the right hand side um, you will see the fire extinguisher with the window as well as the electric switch the windows came with the blind and a small dustbin uh, I would say it's pretty cozy and nice this is the smoke detector the light bulb on the left hand side there is an indoor fire pit um, it is enclosed and pretty good seal so in case it's a bit chilly you can definitely use it however they do provide a nice small heater on the right hand side as you can see right here which is pretty good in spring this is the bench and a stepping stool in case if you need it here are the three bed as well as the dining table for four uh, with a metal top in case if you want to put hot pans or anything like that this is the charging outlet with two standard electric outlets as well as two usb outlet this was pretty handy to charge cell phones tablets since we had kid this was awesome this is the first bed with two single mattress easily accommodate two adults over here a nice bright window uh, with the blind the view from here was awesome uh, pretty bright in here with the blinds unfolded here's the stairs to the bunk bed which i believe so is a double bed again easily accommodate two adults over here with a small nice window up top and on the left hand side another dual bed or two single mattress over here so um, in all you can easily accommodate eight adults but the recommended accommodation is five to six adults only we were three adults and two kids so uh, definitely more than needed space um, so as i said this is uh, unit 713 um, this was a great camping experience i would definitely recommend it there are two car parking spots um, the washrooms were fairly close to us um, just few minute walk so i really hope you found this video helpful if you did please give this video a thumbs up it really means a lot to us and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video thank you so much for watching this video please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care i'll see you guys in the next one Thank you.